the news. President Biden met today with members of his administration to discuss lowering consumer prices and also making sure both teams get the ball in overtime. <laughs> A federal judge in Texas ruled on Friday that President Biden could not require federal workers to receive the coronavirus vaccine. Wow, nobody's letting Biden get anything done. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if Wordle was only giving him two rows. <laughs> After the voting rights bills failed to pass last week, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki advised people who were upset to go to a kickboxing class or have a margarita, because what better way to save democracy than with fun ideas for first dates? <laughs> They're stripping away our rights one by one. Let's paint mugs. According to a new report, Britain's Prince Andrew had a collection of more than 70 teddy bears, and staff members were ordered to arrange them according to a diagram. And then they could get to work on his enormous collection of giant red flags. <laughs> the NFL reportedly notified unvaccinated players last week that they will no longer be required to be tested daily for the coronavirus. In fact, some of them don't even have to come to work. A television reporter in West Virginia who was hit by a car during a live broadcast last week got up uninjured and said, quote, that's live TV for you. <laughs> okay, as someone who's done a lot of live TV, no, it's not. <laughs> Ashley Simpson lip syncing, that's live TV for you. You got hit by a car. <laughs> oh my God, should we exchange info? No, oh, no, it's fine. This is live TV. Rapper Jay-Z has reportedly signed on to a letter urging New York Governor Kathy Hochul and state lawmakers to ban prosecutors from using rap lyrics as evidence against defendants in court. Not because it's unfair, just because it's so cringy to hear lawyers recite them. <laughs> Singer Adele last week postponed her Las Vegas residency less than 24 hours before the first show. Fortunately, Adele fans are well equipped to deal with sudden heartbreak. And finally, according to the latest numbers, New Yorkers placed more than $600 million in bets during the first week of mobile sports gambling, all against the Knicks. <laughs> President Biden was caught on a hot microphone yesterday referring to Fox News reporter Peter Ducey as, quote, a stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> Said Biden, I am so sorry. That was supposed to be into the main mic after he was caught referring to Fox News reporter Peter Ducey as, quote, a stupid son of a bitch. President Biden reportedly called Ducey to clear the air, and just like Biden being elected, Ducey is gonna pretend it never happened. <laughs> and to me, the crazy part of all this isn't that Biden got mad that Ducey tried to make him look bad, it's that Biden was so surprised that Ducey tried to make him look bad. Where you been, dude? That's the game. Biden's like that kid in fourth grade who wanted to play dodgeball and then got super mad that someone whipped a ball at him. <laughs> As tensions increased between the U.S. and Russia, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki warned yesterday that American citizens in Ukraine should leave the country now, but added that no organized evacuation is planned. Why is that? Because of the last one you organized? We'd love to help out. We're good. <laughs> Just gonna go on Expedia. Thank you. <laughs> Yesterday marked the start of tax season for those who celebrate. <laughs> NASA announced yesterday that the world's largest and most powerful space telescope has reached its observation post and is now one million miles away from Earth. Must be nice. Hilton announced yesterday that its Homewood Suites chain of hotels is now 100% pet friendly, while Days Inn announced they have enough animals to worry about. <laughs> it's nice to see two raccoons and a, a snake getting along. <laughs> Crisp, it's an uneasy piece. Krispy Kreme will offer a dozen free donuts to anyone who donates blood amid a national shortage. Tough break for anyone who drank it already. <laughs> Guys are out a dozen donuts.
And finally, a couple in India recently announced that they will have their wedding in the metaverse and have invited 2,000 people. It's the perfect way to say, we don't want our grandparents to come. <laughs> it's in the what? <laughs> Supreme Court Justice Stephen Breyer is reportedly planning to retire at the end of the current term, which would allow President Biden to appoint a successor, said Mitch McConnell, with only three years left in his term. Ah, I don't think so. <laughs> President Biden visited an ice cream store yesterday in Washington, D.C., and reportedly got a scoop of chocolate with peanut butter flex and a scoop of blackout chocolate cake. So, yeah, he's seen the approval numbers. Ah, uh, I'm gonna need a second scoop. <laughs> President Biden met today with the CEOs of Ford, General Motors, and several other companies to discuss his Build Back Better agenda. But of course, it quickly devolved into Biden pitching car names. What about the Ford Shark? <laughs> That's a pretty good name, the Ford Shark. President Biden told reporters yesterday that a potential Russian invasion of Ukraine would likely be the, quote, largest invasion since World War II, so I guess he's never been to a target on Black Friday. <laughs> In a video posted on social media today, former President Trump told a golfing partner that he would be the 45th and 47th president of the United States. Then again, it wouldn't be the first time he lied to a golf partner. <laughs> Put me down for a four. Yeah, it's a four. It's a four. After Vermont, Senator Bernie Sanders suggested that he would support a primary challenger against Democratic Senator Joe Manchin. Manchin said yesterday, quote, Senator Sanders is not a Democrat. Said Sanders, thank you. <laughs> Organizers of next month's Winter Olympics in Beijing announced they will provide free condoms to athletes, and I'm pretty excited to find out what that event is. <laughs> Seems weird it's in the winter. <laughs> Amazon endorsed a bill in Congress yesterday that would legalize marijuana on a federal level. Oh, really? Does Amazon support something that would make it even harder for people to go out to a store? <laughs> Alexa, order Doritos. <laughs> yes, make weekly. And finally, musician Kid Rock released a song this week that criticizes coronavirus restrictions. Oh, buddy, that's not why people are staying six feet away from you. <laughs> President Biden said today that he is planning to name his nominee to replace retiring Supreme Court Justice Stephen Breyer by the end of next month. And then a day or two after that, he'll nickname the nominee. Hey, Super Judge! <laughs> Judge Arena, I'll get one, don't worry. After White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said yesterday that President Biden will stand by his commitment to appoint a black woman to the Supreme Court, a Fox News panel criticized the administration's selection process. I'll take a wild guess and say they have exactly two problems with a black woman. <laughs> the pharmaceutical company Moderna announced yesterday that it has begun testing its Omicron-specific coronavirus vaccine. Feels like that might be outdated by the time it's ready. That's like hearing that Apple's working on an iPhone 7. <laughs> According to the latest numbers, the U.S. economy last quarter grew by 6.9%. My pleasure, said Spider-Man. <laughs> According to a new report, a witness told federal prosecutors that he was present when Republican Congressman Matt Gates was told that he had sex with a minor, and he said you could have heard a pin drop at that homecoming dance. <laughs> and almost in here. In honor of the park's 30th anniversary and Women's History Month in March, Disneyland Paris announced yesterday that Minnie Mouse will wear a dark blue and black polka-dotted pantsuit designed by Stella McCartney. Unfortunately, that still won't make up for the fact that you brought your wife to Paris and then took her to Disneyland. <laughs> hey, did you see the pantsuit? Yeah. <laughs> a representative of the anti-drug group Dare criticized the HBO show Euphoria in a new interview, 
and said it glorifies narcotics use among high school students. But realistically, how many teens can afford HBO and narcotics? <laughs> McDonald's is set to begin selling a new item consisting of a chicken sandwich, Big Mac, and filet of fish all in one bun called Land, Air, and Sea, as opposed to its original name, Bathroom Hospital Cemetery. <laughs> in a different way. And finally, the Navy announced yesterday that it has discharged 45 sailors for refusing to get the coronavirus vaccine. Wow, I didn't realize the virus could be transmitted through semen. Discharged. Discharged semen. <laughs> and that was the show for the whole night?